from around the world, a brand new weekly series with Dr. Amy Panja and Dr. Shini Samara, The Health Show. one of Nigeria's deadliest snakes, a saw-scale viper. It's thought it kills more people than any other African snake. Right now, this dangerous procedure is the essential first step for making antivenoms. It's an expensive and complex process. The cost of antivenoms has been rising sharply for the past 20 years. The amount of venom that we've just extracted now is sufficient to kill a human being. Paul Rowley knows all about snake bites. He's the only person in the UK licensed to extract snake venom for medical research. It's a risky job. Being bitten by a snake really is painful. Um, last time I was bitten was by a juvenile rattlesnake and I had a lot of swelling and intense pain. Um, I felt like my arm was broken. Paul was given anti-venom and it saved his life. But like nearly half of people treated, he suffered a serious adverse reaction. A week later, I, I took ill again due to the effects of the antivenom. They actually wanted to readmit me to hospital because um, it was quite a serious situation. The team at the Liverpool School are developing a completely new approach. By separating out only the most toxic parts of snake venom, they hope to produce cheaper treatments that don't have such severe side effects. Venom consists generally of about 200 different proteins. The problem with this is that a lot of those proteins are not particularly toxic. And so we rationalise that if you make an antivenom which is specific only to the toxins, you won't need as much of the antivenom to affect cure. It's always so explosive, this stuff. This puff adder, with its large hollow fangs, produces an especially toxic venom. The Liverpool team is working to identify the genes that produce only the most dangerous toxins in this and other snakes' venom. Stitched together to create a synthetic sequence, they are then inserted into lab bacteria. These tiny biological factories produce the vital proteins repeatedly, a much safer process. If we're successful, we will generate a, a pool of antibodies which, when combined, will neutralize the main pathological toxins of all the venoms of all the deadly snakes in one region. They're currently testing the effectiveness of a new antivenom designed to work against all African saw scale vipers. Preliminary results are due in the next few months, but it will be several years before it can be manufactured in bulk. Until then, 
Making anti-venom will remain very risky, even in the hands of seasoned professionals. So Paul's brought in a spitting cobra from Nigeria now. Um, it's in this trap box. So these are one of the larger animals in our collection. And they spit, and so we've got to be quite careful with this one. Synthetic antivenom can't come soon enough. That's how bad it can go sometimes. Well, if that story got your heart racing, you're not the only one. And of course, if it was too fast, this is what I'd be using to check you out. 